Greetings, welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I am Julia. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today we're going to work on affirmations on what we can speak to help change our lives. Okay, thank you so much again for joining me. I really appreciate you watching and taking the time to enjoy this message. So we're going to use the wiser tarot and let's just ask spirit, what do we need to really work on? What aspect of our life really needs our focus? And what are we going to work on affirmations for? And, oh, that's a nice one. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we have. The topic for today is the Nine of Cups. This can be a complex idea as well. Every card is a little bit complex. There's lots of different ways to look at it. But here, this man here has maybe indulged a little too much and he's just sitting there because he's maybe drank all these cups of wine or whatever. That could be one aspect. But you know what else? He has dreamed to become relaxed in his life. And these are wishes and dreams becoming true. So this is actually the wish card and it's time for us to make a wish to change our lives. So now we're gonna just ask three specific cards. What do we need to focus on in order to become happy with ourselves and in a good place of just being good in self-love and self-care in our lives. So we're first going to ask again, we're going to just use the same deck. We'll see what aspects of the wish card do we need to really focus on and how we can change our lives with affirmations. Okay, so let's see what we have. Ooh, yes, I like the first one. Let's see what else we have. Okay, and I will tell you in one moment. <laughs> okay, all right. First we have the High Priestess. This is wonderful. Here we're going to be embracing our silence and our knowing and our intuition. So for an affirmation for this, we can say, I trust the wisdom that the divine has placed in me. I go beyond the veil and I access all the information that I need for my life from past lives, from ancestors and guides. They are all here willing to help me and I sit in silence and I receive the information that I need. Okay, so that's a lot. Let's just try and shorten that a little bit. I trust my intuition. I follow the wisdom that is within me and I listen. When I need to be silent, I am silent and I trust that the wisdom, that everything I need is right before me at the moment I need it. Okay, the next card we have is the Four of Swords. How lovely is that? So this is resting, re-strategizing, being calm and seeking peace and the inner peace. This is meditation. Okay, so here we're going to say for accessing our our dreams. I go within and I meditate to hear what is my most precious desire. What is my most precious dream that I would like to incorporate in my life? Then we can ask spirit, how to, how can we embrace this? What messages can we receive? So we can say, I hear the message from the divine. I changed my life turn the corners that I need to change. I step into the places where I need to step that have been planned for me ahead of time. Okay, so the things that we need to do are there waiting for us. Right now we're just calming ourselves down so that we're in a place to receive it. So we could also add to that then for an affirmation. I receive the wisdom from the divine in times of peace and calm. I am still, I listen, and I hear from the divine, so I know the path that is the best for me, that leads to a bright future. I see the brightness on that card there. It's bright on the wall. So we are leading ourselves into a better place, full of sunshine and warmth and love. Okay, so then we have, these two came together, so I'm just going to show them. These were together, the Eight of Swords in reverse, which means that we've already stepped away from being blocked, which is great. And then we have the Hermit. So the Hermit here goes within. He also does access the, like the High Priestess card, he accesses the information that is from our ancestors and from just 
beyond from our higher self okay so he's got he's quietening himself pausing reflecting and then listening so we're going to do a lot of listening here okay so for this we can say I prepare my life I navigate the storms of life with the light that is within me um, we could say I am resilient I pause when I need to pause and I hear from spirit what I need to know for the next leg of my journey. Okay, so I like those messages. Now let's use this deck here. This is the Secrets of the Mystic Grove. Let's pull a card for an additional message about now making our wishes and um, how we can streamline our affirmations for making our wishes come true. Okay, first we have Council. Okay, Group meeting advisors okay so i do like this so what this is saying to me is with these other two cards here we are accessing our higher self's counsel okay we are accessing the information that is from beyond the veil and we're bringing it into our life so we can say i receive the information from my higher counsel and i follow that path that is shown to me and I make my wishes and I set my intentions for my goals and all my dreams to come true according to the divine plan that has been laid out for my life. Okay, I'm hoping that this helps. All right, let me know in the comments, okay? So let's pull an Angel Answers Oracle card and we have the message within the next few weeks. So when we do set our intentions and when we do make our wishes, we can set them with an intention to receive them within the next few weeks okay well thank you so much if you would if you would like some cards pulled for you so let me know and I hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching have a great day bye for now